You're too The Snapback Journey Radio. Snapback Journey Radio. Snapback Journey Radio. Snapback Journey Radio. Presented by Yo Checka TV. With healthy conversations. <laughs> Hosted by Checka C. Hey, yo, Checka. And so mm-hmm. I know what that feels like, what that looks like, sort of that. And, and I, and I, and I understand you like wanting to just be fulfilled and help people. In, in a lot of us, there's a possibility for a pivot. You know, I was, I was leaving CrossFit the other day, especially women. And I was talking to one of my friends at CrossFit and she said, I'm about to be an empty nester and I don't know who I am without being a parent. Interesting. And I was like, yeah, honey. And she said, I've watched your videos and she started to tear up. And then I started to tear up and she was like, you know, you really just spoke to me. And, you know, it, I always like to say this, like, it's kind of like being at the optometrist, you know, they do, they do the eye test on you and like, it's blurry, you know, it's there, it's blurry, it's not clear yet. But there's a lot of women, I'm just gonna speak to women for a minute, like that, that know that there's something more out there. There's something more, you shouldn't be dreading Fridays and excuse me, wishing for Fridays and dreading Mondays. I was terrified. The same things that I teach, I had to have other people come alongside me and speak life into me because I was like, who am I outside of being a sportscaster? Like, I've, I've only known right. how to be a sportscaster for 17 years. True. And, and we do have a lot of women that listen to the podcast. It's a lot of moms, you know, focused, yeah. obviously. And just like, um, I, I was thinking about that too before I got on with you because I was like, you know, she's like, most of your experience is probably dealing with men. The, I started to ask early on, please separate the women from the men because the messaging is so different. Um, and the message to women is, um, do you love yourself? Like, do you love yourself? And when you, and, and there's some of that for the men too, because what I found out being out on the road, especially the past couple of years, we it. tell them to be strong and masculine. You got to man up, shut up, put some dirt on it and keep moving. And that is the reason why men are three times as likely to commit suicide than women. There's also, in my opinion, another kind of suicide, and it's the suicide of a slow death of your soul. And that is where you're wearing a mask every day for people and saying, ah, I'm fine, I'm fine, everything is great, it's good. And inside you're depressed, you're anxious, you're whatever it may be, right? You know, the messaging to men um, comes from a really warm, nurturing place. A lot of them call me ma, aunt, I've been, through, I've been through addiction, I've been through abuse, I've been through financial ruin, I've lost both my parents. Um, I've been, you know, just through a lot, and 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 somehow um, I'm in this place the, for the first time in my life. The past couple of years, I would say, um, past ten years, maybe more than a couple, where I just profoundly love myself. And when you naturally create standards and boundaries out of self love, there are people that will scatter from you, and there are people that will draw closer to you. And, and being a queen doesn't mean we're perfect. It just means you know better, so you do better. It means you lead, you serve, you give. It means, I always say I'm a queen under construction, Cheka, and that means I'm not perfect, but I'm learning, seeking, growing, pushing, and my feet are not in the same place. And when's the last time you took a look at your soul? Are you proud of who you are? Are you proud of your decisions? Are you proud of the way you treat people? What do you say to yourself when you wake up in the morning, your feet hit the floor? Are you talking up to yourself are you talking negatively to yourself? And so for the women, it's a, it's a little bit different message. <laughs> Walk me through the process or a day in the life of Rachel Barbeau and what you do to sort of make sure that you're fulfilling yourself with those thoughts, with those actions, with what does that look like? I know you are very faith driven. I remember that <laughs> about you too. We hear the word, the word self-care, the phrase self-care thrown around all of the time. And for a lot of us, we have this idea, it's like, I gotta go to the spa or get my nails done or, you know, what, a, look, I will be real. I ain't never looked nor thought about my soul nor thought about my health, yeah. my wealth, my psychology, my, right. what, in the nail salon, That's okay? Right. That, check it, that is surface level stuff, yeah. okay? Yep. I, I'm for it. I'm for you going to get a massage and for those things. But more importantly, I'm for you. What feeds your soul? Right. What feeds your soul? Right. And so I use this example a couple of weeks ago, I was picking up my bonus baby from school and we live like 10 minutes from the beach. We've been so busy, just life and everything else. I haven't had a chance to go to the beach. And I said, you know what? We had some time before we picked up her sister. And I said, let's go to the beach. And she said, well, I'm good. I'm going to sit in the car and do homework because she's from here. And I said, okay. 
I said, but I'm going to walk out here, lock the door. So I walked out to the end of the beach walk and I swear I did like one of those Titanic moves like this, like, <laughs> oh, you know, and I just did this a breathing exercise that one of our, our, our mindfulness expert teaches us in the movement, which is six to six, six in, hold two, six out. You do it 10 times immediately. You're oxygenate your body. You're going to be in a better place. So I did that. I was out there five minutes, Chuck, and I felt like I had nurtured my soul for like days. Wow. And I walked back to that car and I was like, you know, the ocean breathing, you know, whatever it is you believe, it's not God, whatever it is you believe for me, it was talking to God. Like, and so I'm, I'm here to tell you, and I give that example that soul care doesn't have to be the set amount of time. 